Howdy guys, lovely to see you all again. Today we're going to be looking at the first of two very emotional solos from Comfortably Numb by Pink Floyd. Let's take a look. start on 14 of the first string and the majority of the vibrato in this song will be um, generally tremolo or whammy so just use your stick as much as possible um, if you want to though you can do natural vibrato as well so starting from 14 of the first string and I go into this so it's just a semi-tone bend and then I want to do a full tone bend from 15 to the second string and at the end of that I want to go so I do the big bend, and then I want to play 14 to 15, oh sorry, 15 to 14 on the second string. At the end of that, I'm going to work up an A sort of arpeggio or chord shape. So I'm going to play 14 of the second string, third and fourth. Let's try the whole thing thus far from the start. the 14 at the top of that arpeggio from the 4th string, I sort of hold it for a little bit and then I'm going to slide from 14 to 12 and then hit the, the 12 again when I get there. Once again, uh, some light tremolo bar whammy. So from the start, this is what we should have. That's all making sense. I want to go back to 14 of the first string now and just go straight into a bend. There's a bit of a delay uh, before the bend, so we want a little bit of the original note before we bend it out of shape. Another 15 bend from the second string, so we're going to go. At the end of this now, it comes down and I want to do a pull off this time from 15 to 14. Okay, from there I want to play 14 of the third. Then I want to slide from 14 to 12 on the 4th. So I'll go. After that, I want to pluck 11 of that string as well. So I'm actually doing quite a lot of notes with that pointer. At the end of that, I want to slide from 10 to 12 on the 5th string. And hit it again when I get there. So let's go from the second half. Try putting the whole section together from the start and then we'll do it again even slower with some tabs. into the 12th fret of the 3rd string. When I get there, a little bit of whammy vibrato again. Then I want to play 11 to 9 on the 3rd string. And then when I get to 12 of the 4th, a bit of an aggressive um, vibrato there. So, sort of gentlemanly. And a bit more aggressive when I get to the 4th. At the end of that, so what I've got here is I've got to pull off from uh, 12 to 9 on the 3rd and I want to hit that ninth fret again when I get there. So after I did that I've got to pull off an extra 9 and then with a bit of delay I want to wait and slide to 7. Once I've gotten there, extra pick. So all together thus far. Hopefully 
that's making sense, and then I work into this phrase. Let's slow that down. I'm doing a pull off from nine to seven on the third, then I want to jump to nine of the fourth, and then I want to play seven nine on the third as just pluck notes. We're going to start off with a pull off and then pluck everything else. Okay, after that I want to play a regular 11 and then a very, very slow semitone bend from the third string. So we'll try that whole phrase a little slower. Hopefully that's making sense. Let's do the last chunk of this and then we'll put it all together slowly at the end anyway. So I go into this now. What I'm doing here at the start is I'm starting from 15 of the first string and very slowly pulling off 14, 12. Okay, now I cross over to my ring finger on this and I want to slide from 15 to 12. Then from that point I'm working up once again that kind of A major shape up edge here. This time I'm going from 12th fret. It's more of a G. So I'm going to go 12 of the second, 12 of the third, 12 of the fourth. Let's try that all together. Hopefully that's making sense. And then I go. So what I've got here is I've got a slide from 10 to 9 on the 4th. A bit of vibrato if you wish. And then when I get to 9, I'm plucking it again. After that, I want to do a hammer on into a pull off into a slide. It actually sounds a lot harder than it is. I'm going to go 9, 10, 9. And then using that momentum, slide to 7. And that was on the 4th string. So let's go from uh, this sort of pull offy thing into the slidey arpeggio, finish it off, and then we'll put the whole section together one more time. All right, let's take it from the start now. short but it is a, a nice important way to finish the solo. I'm going to start off with a slide into 12 of the third string but the weird thing about this uh, is it comes down the offbeat of three. So it goes ah become and I'm going to go one two three four one two three. So it's on the offbeat of three. If you listen to it a couple of times it's just underneath the vocal try and think offbeat of three if that helps. So I want to start off with a slide into 12 off the third string and then hit it again when I get there. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. And then after that, I'm going to slide from 9 to 11. Still on the third. And then this time, I'm going to do another slide from 9 to 11, but slide back to 9. So we go. At the end of that, I want to pull off to a 7. So from the start. That now, just to finish it off, I'm going to do a slide from 7 to 9, back to 7 on the 4th. And then hit the 7 again and give it some light vibrato. Loose whammy today. Anyway, so from the start, we'll put it all together and then we'll do it again, even slower some tabs. As I said, it's a pretty short and simple section. All the time, some tabs. first solo from Comfortably Numb by Pink Floyd. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. I will get cracking on the big delicious one at the end very soon. So stay tuned for that. Catch you all later.